Hey there. Um, I'm going to do a quick get ready with me on days that I do have to work and do some actual makeup and I'm going to show you some things that I've been using lately. So this is the Genifique serum from Lancome that I am using. Um, I just got I'm gonna try not to use a primer today to see how this works. I just got the new um, NARS um, non-transferable foundation. I got two um, two colors, so I'm gonna try those out. I've tried the one out. This one's a little bit darker, so I'm gonna try that one today. So here I'm taking some of the foundation and putting it on my hand and dabbling it into my skin with a damp sponge. The sponge I'm using is from Sephora, it's Sephora brand. I really like the coverage of this foundation. Uh, it's medium coverage for me. Um, you could also double it up once it, you put a first layer on and make it really full coverage if you needed to. So now I'm taking the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade number three and I'm going to outline my eyebrows and then fill in. And I'm just doing some small strokes here in the front and then filling in the curvature. And it's basically just outlining them so that I can sort of frame my face first before I do my eye makeup and then I'll come back and finish, do the finishing touches later on. Then I'm going to take some of the Anastasia Brow Gel in clear and I'm just doing some small strokes over top just to set. So I'm going to use some cream stick eyeshadow today. Uh, a couple shades that I'm using is Sephora brand and I'm just putting that all over the bottom of my lid. Now I have a hooded eye, so sometimes I have to lift it up to really get it in the crease so that it, is, it can blend. And I'm just blending it out with my finger. And then I'm gonna take another stick, which is from Lancome in the shade Rose. And I'm going to put that in the front part of my eye towards my nose, to brighten up around and then just blend that out again with my finger. Then I'm going to take a couple darker shades and this is in um, from Jouer and I'm just going to put some more on the outer corner and buff that out. as well as a darker shade. And I'm going to outline my eye as an eyeliner um, with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Liner in black, which is M10. I wear contacts, so I need to lift up my eye so that it doesn't actually touch my eye when I put eyeliner on or my contacts will flip out. Here's the darker color from Jouer that's going on the outside corner of my eye. And blend again with my fingers. And 
I'm going to use for a bronzer the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and I'm just going to take a clean brush and put that on the under my cheekbone give it some depth and then brush it up so here I'm going to take some highlighter from Laura Geller in the shade Diamond Dust and I'm going to put it on the tops of my cheek to highlight and put it under my brow bone on the outside as well as my the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. I just got some Vice lipsticks from Urban Decay. These are their liquid lipsticks, and I'm trying this color for the first time. It is in the shade Conspiracy. It's like a maroon color, and it's got some gold flecks in it. taking the tardiest mascara this is a travel size that I have and I'm applying the mascara Hey, so I just wanted to check in with you to let you know how my makeup has done today. I had the NARS on this morning and um, it still looks pretty darn good. Um, it was it, brutally hot in the store today uh, and very busy, so I was glistening just a tad, just a tad. Uh, I'm a little bit oily down here, but I didn't put any powder on over top of my foundation today. To settle anything and I blew my nose just a little bit so I'm a little bit red right there um, but other than that I did no touch-ups uh, not even on my lipstick so I highly recommend the NARS new foundation and yeah I like the second color that I got I had two colors I tried the second one today still like it so um, yeah highly recommend it so if you have any questions about it, leave a comment below. And if not, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.